Greetings programs, today's Brando review is of the WWE Basic, I don't know what series this is, Hall Orndorff. I've been waiting a long time for this figure. This was pretty much announced I saw on Ringside Collectibles in December, and they wanted like 11, 15 bucks. I said, I don't like <laughs> Ringside Collectibles overcharging me. I'll just wait until they release it in store. So December was the date that Ringside Collectibles had. It's April! April, it took them April to give me this figure, and I swear to God, I'm gonna talk about this right now, I don't care. I swear to God the head sculpt was improved for Paul Orndorff this go around compared to the old Legends head sculpt that looked bad. This looks just as bad. But here's the packaging, big ass red and silver WWE logo, the new styling. Picture of Paul Orndorff, a render looks just like him. Great artist work right there. You have Paul Orndorff down here, the old Legends, WWE, old school 80s logo right there at the bottom, and then behind him, and you have the WWE basic packaging, you know, your plastic see-through stuff with the WWE logo embroidered there. Here's the back of the basic stuff. You're going to get some NXT people. You're going to get at least one Diva, at least one Legend, and then get some Raw and some SmackDown guys. And we have Edge. I didn't want Edge. I wanted Paul Orndorff. And here's the back of the packaging, all the good stuff. This toy is made in China to me. All right, let's, let's open it up. All right, I don't know if you can see there or not, but there's Paul Orndorff's mug. And here's the... <laughs> The head sculpt we got doesn't look like him at all. I can see the problems right now. Paul Orndorff's head looks, you know, mostly like a normal human being right there in the artist picture. And here it's just like this. They kind of just stretched it out and made it elongated. You see his chin is absolutely big as shit. I mean, his chin was kind of wide in real life, but looks just like a caricature here. I mean, yeah, if you throw on that head sculpt with the tights and even the Mr. Wonderful there on the back, I'm going to know it's Paul Orndorff, but... Come on, son. That doesn't look like Paul Orndorff. Uh, that makes me mad. Anyways, his hair is like this really wavy gold. It looks kind of crappy. I'm not going to lie. Jesus, the definition there. Paul Orndorff was a big guy. I'm pretty sure he wasn't this cut up. He was mostly like a very size guy. Look at his damn triceps and biceps here. Really defined. I don't remember him being... Like, here. Let me see if I can... Bam, okay, here you go, perfect. Like, this guy had size. He wasn't cut up, he was just big. So it seems I got the body type a little wrong. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen a Paul Orndorff match, but yikes, he's so cut up. He's not, I don't think he was this cut up, he's just big. Anyway, you just see his definition, his traps are massive. His eyes are like a brownish eyeball color. He has white wrist tape, white trunks. Really, really great getup. I think the Legends was a blue. I really like the all white and red because it reminds me of when he battled Hulk Hogan all the time and drew the most out of any villain that Hulk Hogan went up against. White knee pads, rubber, awesome stuff. You also notice that they're not like a strap there, strap there. They're full on knee pads. So that might hinder our articulation. I'll talk about that later. But you have white boots, red on the striping sides and on the front and back of the toes as well as the back of the boot. And then white laces and a little white tongue. So that's really cool. That's the coloring of Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff. So, let's talk articulation. He is a basic figure, so we're going to be a little bit limited here. Does a pretty good flush there, 180. He believes he can fly. Socket, uh, shoulder joints there, 360 for the biceps and triceps. Single joint for the elbows. So, we can raise it up. Go pretty much at a 90 degree angle, really nice. Wrists on a 360, he has... Both open wrists, one that's more close, so you can hold stuff, and this is like an open palm. And they go not so much backward and forward quite a bit. Whoopsies! Forward there, so very much so, more than the other side, and backward just as bad. Torso on a 360. Here's a problem with the basics compared to the elites. They don't have the uh, ability to John Claude Van Damme. So he can sit down, and his knee pads... Uh, Kind of prohibit him from sitting in a chair-ish. So, assuming he's got double joint knees underneath there. Jeez, look at his quads! My God! It's like Jay Cutler or somebody. It wasn't that much. Anyways, feet, boots going to 360, and then up about that much, and down quite a bit. He can tiptoe his Jordans. That is the articulation from Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff. So Paul Orndorff looks taller than Hulk Hogan. Paul Orndorff is just under seven inches, probably like a sixteenth or so away, and Hulk Hogan is like, he's leaning over a little bit more. 
It's like right at seven inches. So whoever designed this, Paul Orndorff, clearly wasn't thinking, because Paul Orndorff is like 6'1", 6'3", in real life. No taller than 6'3". Pretty sure he was like 6'1". Hulk Hogan's 6'8". Hulk Hogan was big, man. Here they are, pretty much the exact same size. So that's not right. Yeah, Come on, Mattel. Kind of shit the bed on the Paul Orndorff fans. So what am I going to give? The basic Paul Orndorff out of 10? I mean, they got the attire right here. It looks really nice. Uh, I don't know, man. No, no higher than a 7. I'm going to say a 6. I mean, I can't say a 6. His body type is all wrong. I'm going to give him a 6. I don't care. His body type is wrong. His head sculpt is wrong. You know, his attire is right. And this does overall look like a Paul Orndorff. But I know they could have done a better job. I understand this is a $10 figure, but I mean, I have a Stone Cold Steve Austin figure that's $10 looks better than this. So uh, I'm going to give it a six. I'm going to give him a six. That's it for Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, one of the greatest villains from the 80s. If you like this video, give it a like down below. Subscribe down below if you're not already to stay tuned for the latest and the greatest from this channel, including a bunch of old school WWE stuff, mostly these old wrestler guys from the 80s I used to love, as well as the 90s, like Paul Orndorff, like the Big Boss Man, like the Iron Sheik. So thanks guys very much for watching. If you dislike this video, Paul Orndorff's going to have Bobby Heaton come to your house and smack you in the face. Booyah! Thanks guys. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 a shiki baby, I might be talking a little bit like this. So I'll start with the packaging. You got 